takes on Clive Myers, Iron Fist himself. Don't miss this one. And welcome back to Bedworth, Grapple fans, in time for the big one. There he is, TV Gray. Now in the middleweight bracket, he's really put on quite a bit of weight since his lightweight days. Steve Gray from Peckham, South East London. Now well over the 12 stone mark. And here's his opponent this afternoon, Clive Iron Fist Myers, just about the same weight as Steve Gray at the 12 and a half stone mark. Myers from Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. And what about this next eight rounds should produce? These two top, really top masters of their profession. So, ladies and gentlemen, our second contest today is a special lightweight challenge match of eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, all the knockout will decide the winner. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you talk about the really great lightweight stars of wrestling, you talk about George Kidd, you talk about Johnny Saints, and you talk about Steve Gray. And ladies and gentlemen, Steve Gray's opponent this afternoon, proudly wearing the belt, of course, the European Championship belt. It belongs to a young man who's not only a super wrestler, but president of the British Arm Wrestling Federation as well, Iron Fist Clive Miles! <laughs> and your referee from this contest, ladies and gentlemen, from Liverpool, Mr. Frank Casey. Yes, Frank Casey used to uh, handling the tough boys, but this time he'll have no problem with that. The inside moves at all, because neither of these men need to. Both masters of their profession, as I said, and really craftsmen at the wrestling game. Neither of them, I don't think I've ever seen, produce a rough move, an inside move. Why should they need to? They got all the holes at their command anyway. Second away, first round. So eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Nothing in it weight-wise. Clive Myers, Jamaica, Steve Gray, London. Frank Casey from Liverpool in charge of it. Can't see Myers falling for that one. <laughs> he did though. I was worried about something the spectators said the back there. I've never seen Clive Myers quite this angry, in fact. Lee Bamber is going to see him. Yes, the MC has gone to, and the stewards have got rid of them. So they've gone. Whoever said what has left the hall now, so Myers will continue. Paul Nelson's, and a quick head mare follow-up. Very angry now. You can see by his wrestling style, he's going fast for the quick killer move here. So that argument took a lot of that first round, but there are still seven more to go. What a great mover this fellow Myers is. <laughs> right in the bell, round one. <laughs> Which is why, of course, Stevie Gray from London is the perfect opponent for this man, Myers. Hardly anybody I can think of in the lighter weights 
brackets of rustling could really come back at Myers. This is the man that can do it. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see him do it here this afternoon. But what a bout it's going to be. Second away, round three. Round three, six to go. No score. Gray in the black trunks versus Iron Fist Myers. Side headlock and bring it down to the ground way, position, no. but it's not far enough. No wait. Yes, nicely out, Gray. Paul Nelson to a head mayor very fast indeed, Myers. And ends up with a sort of forward <laughs> headlock ground position. Curious move, but he's got in there. But not orthodox, and therefore Gray is able to get out of it. Eventually. And Frank Casey, completely yeah! superfluous here, the referee as far as warnings are concerned, of course. Just in there for the count. On the pinfalls and the knockouts. Oh, yes, quickly down. And it's a foot folding press for the back. It's a beautiful fold, and he caught it unawares. And. Uh, I bet Myers is the first one to smile and congratulate his opponent on that. There he is, grinning over. <laughs> Says, you really caught me that time. Magnificent. And this is how Gray did it. Both men had the advantage for a few seconds here. Gray comes off the ropes there, waits for a chance, goes for the reverse doubling Nelson, and that's it. Folding press locked. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first fall of the match. It goes in favour of the Peckham Flyer, Steve Gray. Magnificent move. And here, here he comes over to congratulate him as I knew he would. Typical Clive Myers, that's grinning at the expertise of his opponent. Second away, round four. Five rounds to go as we start the fourth. Now then, <laughs> I don't know if Gray's going to have another chance to catch this man unawares. He wants uh, that European middleweight title that Clive Myers holds now. And if he gets a win here this afternoon, he'll have more chance of getting that title bout. Double wrist lock, back hammer to Myers. No. Yes, and Gray is up so fast, and even counters an act of coming up. Nice tackle, nice flying tackle, it's over the top, cross price, and Myers in trouble, but a count of two only. All over the top, Gray in trouble now, double leg Nelson, folding press now to Gray. Yeah, 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 speed of this, and it's Myers again with a double knee, but kicked off for the last second. Even Frank Casey didn't know what was happening there. Didn't know where to start counting. He's spreading his arms as if to say, I have never seen anything so quick. And get the crowd reaction. Marvelous. That is really fast wrestling, that. Beautiful stuff. We've seen these two uh, the last few years, of course, against each other before. I don't think it's ever been as quick quite as these last, these first three rounds. I felt that the thighs all right. Just a minute to go in this fourth round. No. I oh, into the no. finger into lock. No. And looking up for the straight arm lift. No. Yeah. And there it is. No. No. 
Gray falls off it, falls down the back. Double leg Nelson Gray, but now the chop gets him off. You know, the ropes would have uh, pulled the break anyway. 30 seconds. That's a typical Myers attack there, getting to the figure four. If he wants it. Yes, come on. Please, come on. But you from there. <laughs> right on the bell to be quick. Ray won that little move. The man who started off boxing at school, his father, the well-known lightweight boxer, Fred Steen, his ring name, great football fellow, played for midfield for Microbe, the Sunday League, and of course teaches handicraft, specializing in carpentry, concentrates on the old age pensioners and handicap. Marvelous fellow, this one. Seconds away, around five. That's one of the reasons why he's so popular. The other is that he's a sportsman all the time in the ring, whether winning or losing, and he's a fantastic expert at this game of wrestling. One of the few lightweights that could be classed with the great George Kidd, Tony Saint. As the MC reminded us, Lee Bamber reminded us at the beginning of the bout. So, with four rounds to go, and remember Steve Gray, in the front there, leading still by one fall to nil. There's no question about it. Since he got into the middleweight bracket, he's putting on a lot of strength moves here. And quite wor worries Myers with some of them. He's waiting for him to come underneath, but it was a little late on that one. Go with the top and reverse double leg. Nelson and Gray in trouble. Beautiful move by Myers as he came off the top row. Looks down at me and says, I thought you'd like that one, and I did. One minute, 28 seconds, round five, equalizing fall, Clive Myers. This is how he did it. And watch this again in slow motion. It really could be something. Slow down a bit. And here it is. Legs come up, over the shoulders, and the reverse double leg Nelson is there. So, ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 28 seconds of this super contest, equalizing fall in favor of Iron Fist, Clive Myers. Everybody clapping here. I mean, even the referee, everybody at ringside. I've never seen anything like it, I don't think. Seconds away, round six. The sheer speed, agility, and superb execution of wrestling holes of all kinds. Three to go, one fall each. Yeah. <laughs> Smyers hasn't used any of his feet move yet, or not noticeably. Wrist lock, backhammer. Still got the backhammer, still got the double wrist lock. Oh, you'll never hold a cross press like that. That's where I'll get that shoulder blade off the canvas. He might with a double knee, but I don't think so. Not at this stage. Now the bridge forces Myers up. I don't think Myers will break it. No. The bridge is pretty solid. And the single footed throw, monkey climb. Double leg Nelson, folding press Gray. Got the hands, got the hands. Now, missed the hands. Thought he got those hands, then if he had, he would have stopped Myers sliding through. 
Casey's man over the gray over the top cross press and again coming to and Frank Casey is leapfrog there as he goes Myers goes over the top double leg Nelson again aye, aye, aye. speed of this one and this is how Gray turned last time and uh, <laughs> down he goes over the top folding press and he's caught and he's got it Gray has defeated Myers Two falls to one in just one minute, 57 seconds of round six. And I think that's the first time we've ever seen Gray actually defeat Myers. Now he'll have a chance, maybe, at Myers' European belt. This is how he did it. Beautiful folding press coming off the ropes there. Really neat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just before we officially declare the result, how about a big round of applause for two fine professional wrestlers. <laughs> but in one minute, 28 seconds by two to one, the winner is Steve Gray. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one for a very sporting loser? What a contest! I'm first, I'm ladies and gentlemen.